Welcome back folks and welcome to a new Dragon's Dogma 2 video. So today we're gonna be covering all of the latest details from the upcoming updates or well patches which are planned for this game. Because today Capcom has officially revealed all of the changes we're gonna be expecting in the planned updates for Dragon's Dogma 2. To all of the Dragon's Dogma 2 players, we're planning to release patches including the following updates and fixes in the near future and we'll release them as soon as they are ready for distribution on each platform. Thank you for your patience and support. Now, if we take a closer look at the planned updates for the game, first off, we're gonna be going through updates for all platforms, so this includes PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and Steam. First off, they're gonna be adding the option to start a new game when save data already exists. This was a problem in all of the versions of the game because once you start your character and you begin playing the game, unless you go into the files and delete the actual save files, and even that is, you know, done the most easier way on Steam or well on PC, that's the only way to actually start a new game right now, so they're gonna be tackling this option from now on because they're probably gonna be adding more save files or well, they're gonna be adding more slots for those save files. Keep in mind that those saves are also server-sided, so this caused more issues than it actually did solutions, so I am definitely glad they're gonna be adding this option. They're also gonna be changing the number of Art of Metamorphosis items available at Pawn Guilds in the game to 99. And this item caused quite a bit of a stir because, well, it's being sold in their DLC shop, but at the same time, this item is used to change the look of your character and now you're gonna have a lot more in the game so you can use them. Now, the next thing they mentioned here is making the quest that allows players to acquire their own dwelling where they can save and rest, available earlier in the game. Now, I'm a bit confused about this because I am not sure if uh, they're referring to the same house because, to be honest, once you arrive in the city, you kinda get your own house or, well, you're able to buy your house without spoiling too much. Um, definitely fast, so I'm not sure if they're referring to that location, or maybe there is another location which I missed, but you can tell me down below in the comments if I misunderstood this. And also they're gonna be fixing the miscellaneous text displays and miscellaneous bugs. Now when it comes to updates for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, they're gonna be adding the option to switch the motion blur on or off in options. This is very good because, well, motion blur is not the most enjoyable thing you can have in your game, especially on PC, if I ever have an option to like disable motion blur, I'm going to do it. It's kinda useful if you have very low frame rate, but at the same time it's just causing more headaches than it is, you know, causing any solutions. And also they're gonna be adding the option to switch ray tracing on or off. This is good because, well, if you're having some frame rate dips or issues, you can use this to kinda, you know, just extend the frame rate at least a little bit. And also they're gonna be adding the option to set the frame rate to either variable or max 30 frames in options. This is good because at the same time, you know, if you cap the frame rate, you can maybe achieve some results because with variable frame rate it can go up and down a lot. Now keep in mind that these options will not affect the frame rate significantly. Frame rate improvements are planned for future updates. And when it comes to Steam, they're gonna be improving quality when DLS's super resolution is enabled. This is good because so far, you know, some of the gameplay can be a little bit blurry, especially if you're using like balanced DLSS or even if you're using quality. So I'm glad this is, you know, getting a fix. And also they're gonna be fixing an issue where some models appear low quality under some specific settings. Now, if we take a closer look at Steam DB, especially under Depots, this is where you can kind of figure out if they're working on an update or not. And keep in mind, I was using this for Cyberpunk 2077 news a lot, and especially it's easy for them because they don't have a lot of these branches. Now, for Dragon's Dogma 2, we can definitely see that they do have a dev one and a QA one, so it does mean they're testing, you know, a lot of these changes and it doesn't really tell you like how fast the update is gonna, you know, come because this can be one week, two weeks, three weeks, you know, it's kind of difficult to know. At the same time, there is one thing which I do wish that uh, eventually receives a fix and that's when NPCs start spawning in front of you, that can be especially problematic even if you are standing very close to like an NPC, he's going to spawn like right next to you and sometimes it is like very immersion breaking so hopefully in the future updates that's going to be fixed. 
and also here you can kind of take a quick look at my frame rate and my machine so there is definitely problems when it comes to frame rate in the cities outside of the city themselves it's a little bit better but at the same time it can definitely be smoother but i'm glad that you know they're releasing this patch now how much is it going to fix and especially later on once they start pushing out those bigger updates well we shall see and this is everything for today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button for more because you definitely help out the channel and the video in the algorithm and also huge thanks to my current patreon supporters this is lkm signing out stay classy everyone and i will see you next time bye bye